Okay, day two, and welcome to an updated guide for Vardorvis. Um, in this guide, we're going to show you how to skip the axe specials entirely um, and how to highlight the axes and Vardorvis's head using the rune light settings. At the start of the kill, you're going to want to make sure you've got a thrall spawned and pray melee and come between the southern pillars here. And then coming up on screen, we're going to have a bunch of information for how to set up your room light settings to tag the axes and Vardorvis's head. So for dodging the axe that actually spawns on top of you, you're going to want to click diagonally east or west, and I've actually paused where I've clicked here. So you actually want to click um, the tick after it spawns, so you literally only have one game tick to react, but it does feel nice. Um, you can click here, or you can click uh, one tile south of where I clicked, and the same for on the other side, so you can click just in front of the pillar. And uh, if you only touch this game tile for a tick, and then go straight back to where I'm standing now, that is also the same timing for how you would skip two axes um, if there was one coming from the corner that I'm actually clicking to. Um, so for pretty much all, all cases, you can dodge all axes standing from this tile and dodge in diagonally east and west. Okay, we have our first Vardorvis' head popping up there and it is so much easier to see and pre-range for. And as you can see, we're also moving diagonally up out of the way of the incoming axe there. Um, a good tip as well for the blood special attack coming up, uh, which you need to click the blood spots on screen being showed now. Um, very good idea is to eat a manta ray just as you know it's about to start, which I didn't do very well in this clip, but um, have been doing since, is to eat food just as I know it's about to start. And that way on my first attack afterwards I haven't lost any ticks for eating the manta ray. Um, also important to point out that we are using our fang on the slash style, not on the stab style. Um, we're not sure if this is the best way to kill the boss or the best DPS on the boss yet, but for now I think this is what most people have been doing. Say hi to YouTube, because that's the one I'm going to put on the guide, AC number 20. That'll be on the guide later this evening.